we created a dedicated program for our technology media guests, not only driving and presenting our new electrified cars, but also getting an understanding of our autonomous car development project. And the journalists get behind the scenes of our design process, where our designers explain our virtual reality tools in action. The biggest advantage from our point of view is that uh, we can avoid um, wrong decisions at the beginning. Beforehand, in the last years, it was a clay that was actually driving the process and now we have data which is always available for us. You can emotionalize design. So at the moment, design is only emotional and the experience for the designer. It's not for the engineer. And since we have data available, you can really see and feel how a car looks like in the real world. The seating bug that you see here is actually, it's not a prototype that we just built for the journalists, so it's actually an, a working tool that we use in our daily work. You feel like you are the driver of this virtual car. I haven't heard of any competitor doing this, what we are doing at the moment. The concept car we have set up here is equipped with several sensors. It includes five radar sensors, four radars in each corner, and a front radar that is also used in state-of-the-art vehicles for the adaptive cruise control. We have uh, two lidars in the vehicle, one to the front, one to the back. We have two cameras in the windshield. One is used to detect the lanes in front of the car and the second one is used to de detect the traffic signs. <music> 